the signalling system in Auckland um, was old and run down. Um, it wasn't suitable for the new electric trains and some of the equipment dated back to the 1920s. The old signalling system had become unreliable. It wasn't designed for uh, the amount of passenger trains that Auckland needs now. It had been designed around the freight traffic that Key Rail used to run on the network. So it needed to be upgraded with more capacity added. Siemens were a very important part of our project. Uh, Re-signalling or the operation of the signalling system is probably one of the most important aspects of, of running a train service. Siemens won the contract to install the uh, GIS switch rooms, with six of them, feeder stations and track section cabins. And basically we had to install six buildings around the network to, I guess, augment with the electrification process. The project involved replacing all of the existing signalling equipment. This included new signals, new point machines, new train detection devices, new interlockings, as well as a new control centre in Wellington. The client also decided to add a new safety system in the form of ATP, Automatic Train Protection, um, and that involved fitting ETCS equipment to the track side, as well as 57 new electric trains. So in essence, we needed uh, an entire new electrical system which included the overhead uh, electrification and powered switch rooms. Uh, and that required a number of teams to come together uh, to deliver a total solution that we could then pick up and place on individual sites within the Auckland network. So we have introduced what's called an electronic train control system, which it's called ETCS, but it is a, it is a safety system as part of the network that, that mitigates against bad events or, or incidents that might occur on the network. So the introduction of the Siemens system is, is, has taken safety significantly forward from, from where it was prior to that infrastructure being in place. One of the big challenges on the project was to keep the existing railway running whilst we completed the re-signalling. Um, this had to be done also under a lot of time pressure as the signalling had to be ready for the Rugby World Cup in 2011. Well when we started in the day the uh, system was basically memory and you remembered everything that needed to happen on the train track. Um, now what happens with um, ETCS obviously is uh, the train gives you a lot of supportive information as to what's going on on the track up ahead. The folding signal mast is the first of its type in the Australasian market um, and it's now been widely adopted by many of our customers and KiwiRail use it as their only form of signal mast for all projects. Siemens were chosen uh, because of their international experience. So what Siemens were able to bring to us was their, was their systems, their, their world known, their world renowned. The overall outcome of the project is, is a far safer, more reliable service for the passengers that use uh, the rail network in Auckland. Uh, it's it's modernised, it, it's, it's been a huge step up from where we were, say, five years ago, and it will continue to do so. The infrastructure allows us to keep building on a better service for the people that use the, the rail network.